Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at AVG Antivirus Free in 2022. Now this antivirus is free, and in my opinion it's one of the best, and I'll show you why here in a bit. But first, if you want to download it, go to avg.com, and right on the, on the home page you're going to see the free download green button here. Click on that, and it'll start the download. Once you download it and install it, this is what it looks like here. Now before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what PC Magazine had to say about this antivirus, the pros and cons on it. So as we could see here, um, the pros is it has excellent scores from three labs. Very good scores in all our hands-on tests. It's free, of course. Boot time scan removes persistent malware, which is really helpful, guys, because sometimes you get these viruses or malware that the antivirus won't won't take care of because the computer already booted up and it takes over but if it does a boot time scan it could take care of it that way so that's good that it has that and that's for a free edition that's pretty good some useful bonus features which we'll see here in a bit the cons is the initial scan slower than average and it doesn't really matter if the scan is slow in my opinion it just run it at night when you're asleep right fixing found performance issues required upgrade so I guess some performance issues required upgrade which is what you're gonna see on most free editions they're gonna want you to upgrade to get better features and whatnot boot time scan can be very slow but uh, at least it's got boot time scan right so the free specs has got on-demand malware scan on access malware scan website rating malicious URL blocking phishing protection behavior best de base detection it does not have vulnerability scan or a firewall in the free edition, which is kind of weird because when I was playing with it, I actually did see a firewall there, but we'll take a look at it more here in a bit. All right, now we're going to compare also the free with the other ones, the paid ones. So the free one, you get block viruses and malware. You protect against ransomware. However, the free one does not have Wi-Fi network security, does not avoid, does not avoid fake and unsafe websites, and does not secure against phishing sites. Uh, improved performance and storage, you got to get AV, AVG tune-up. Um, that's a different program there. Bryce Private and Securely with AV, AVG Secure VPN. So basically, if you look at the Ultimate, that has everything in it. It has AVG tune-up and the Secure VPN. And that's weird. It costs the same as the just the AVG Internet Security. You see here? $4.99 a month for the AVG Internet Security and $4.99 for the AVG Ultimate. Huh. There must be a caveat there or something. But we're going to be looking at the free edition today. So let's go back to it. And here it is. This is what it's going to look like. I've always liked AVG with their green and black uh, background. They don't always have it like this. But right now I really like this, this look here. Right off the bat here, they'll tell you we're protecting you on this network. And you can click here to open firewall. Now here you could see um, the network's. Now you can see logs here, but I can't click on that because it'll show some of my private info. But you can also see what apps are running and what you want to. Uh, you can block them. You can add some. You can show inactive ones. You can add some more, which is pretty cool. This enhanced firewall is on the free. It, it, it said over here, like over here, it says there's no firewall. But now that we're looking at it, well, the cons. When we look at the cons over here, it says no firewall. But when we're looking at it and we're using a firewall. So I guess there is a firewall. <laughs> All right. To scan your computer, you got to click on these little three dots here. Don't do the run smart scan. I recommend you click on the three dots, click on deep scan. It's going to take a long time, but that's how you want to do it. You also have a option to scan file or folders, boot time scan. That's the boot time scan that we were talking about earlier. We have viruses that don't come off. That's the boot time scan you're going to do. You can scan your USB and DVD. You can do a performance scan, see how your computer's performing. I'm pretty sure it's going to try to talk you into downloading PC TuneUp if you do that. What's cool about this free edition, and all of them have it, is a scheduled scan here. You can create a new scan, name it. Uh, I recommend Deep Scan. Uh, you can make it run monthly, right? Day of the month, you choose the time. Make sure you always choose high sensitivity. Uh, notify me about potential wanted programs if you check that it's going to wait for you to um, uninstall them first so if you wanted to just do it automatically i recommend you just uncheck it uh, follow file system links during scan test whole files i mean you can 
you can really customize your scan here and make it run once a month, once a week, however you want to do it. Now to look at the more, let's look at the features here we get. So when you click on computer here, you get file shield, behavior shield, ransomware protection. To open it, just go here, click on whatever you want to protect. You could just protect them all by clicking this. And that's good. Ransomware is can really screw you up, man. If you get a ransomware and you don't got access to your files anymore, you're screwed. You can't get it back unless you pay these bastards. And sometimes you pay them and they still don't you know, let you have them. There's also a network inspector, scan for vulnerabilities. We're going to go ahead and do a scan there and see what it does. But anyway, while it's scanning, you can always go back. And... Oh yeah, very important. When you're going to do a scan, it should do it automatically, but sometimes these three programs don't. Make sure you click here on definitions, right here. And make sure you get the latest definition. It'll do it automatically, it looks like. Oh, right now it's installing them. But make sure you click on check for update here. Make sure you always have these updated. Now you can really uh, go in here and play with the notifications, exceptions, blocked and allowed apps, create a password. So people won't go in and change, or a virus might go in there and try to change your antivirus. By creating a password, you'll be good. There's a lot of settings on here, guys, that you guys can... That's what I like about AVG. It's got a lot of uh, good stuff. A lot of stuff you could do. Now, when we run a deep scan, it's going to take a long time, like I said. It's got the option to shut down your computer after a scan finishes. So that's a good option to have there. And let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, test results from PC Magazine, the lab results. So as we could tell here, um, AVG scored 9.9. .9. That's one of the highest scores you can get. You can actually get 10, which G data. We're going to do a, a review on that one soon, G data, because it got 10. Look at that, 10, and a set got 10. But AVG got 9.9, .9, which, is, which is pretty good still, right? And what they had to say... It's called the AV Test Institute. That's where they test all these um, antiviruses. But it says reports on antivirus capabilities in three areas. Protection, performance, and usability. With six points possible in each category. The maximum score is 18 points. AVG took six points for usability, meaning it didn't erroneously flag valid programs or websites as malicious. And six more points for malware protection. It came close in performance with 5.5 .5 points. A vast precisely match those scores so it did it did almost like a vast but there it is avg 9.9 .9, which is pretty good i reckon i've always used avg that's actually my personal uh, favorite to use it's only because of habit i've been using it for so long but uh that's it right the only thing we got left to look at is web and email here it's got web shield it's got email shield this is this is the firewall we we're looking at earlier we can get through to it through there as well also, you could look at hack alerts. Create or sign in your AVG account to have your account linked to your email monitored 24-7. So you could do that as well. So this free edition has a lot of features, guys. Has a lot of good features. And that's about it, guys. If you guys are planning on getting in AVG antivirus free, I recommend it. It's good. As we see here, though, it looks like we're going to have to take a look at a set and G data because it looks like those score just one little point higher than avg we're going to take a look at those soon but i do recommend avg it looks like uh, i did pretty good on the on this on the uh, results they're really easy to use i think avg is one of the most e user-friendly antiviruses to use thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you soon in one of my next videos have a good day man